Here we're going to the Sugar Creek cabin. This is the coolest spot you've ever seen. Now the road is just uh, about two miles back, two and a half miles back, and then you're just a quick ride to Danville, quick ride to Stanford or Lancaster, quick ride to Lexington. So you've got all the shopping you need, but all the solitude you want as well. This road is one of these that just get, keeps getting narrower and narrower and more relaxing. There's a little stream alongside the road there. I can't point with my famous finger because I'm driving and holding the camera and texting all at the same time. No, I'm really not texting, but I am on Facebook and Twitter right now. Anyway, here, look at this little creek. Look at that. Ha, love that. Nothing like running water. Anyway, Sugar Creek Cabin, wait till you see this place. You're gonna love it. So here's the driveway coming down here. This is the houses behind me. And then this is where you come in off the road. And this is all county maintained. How pretty is that? Okay, now you can see the road's getting even narrower. So it was 16 feet, then it was 14 feet, then it was 12, <laughs> and on and on we go. But, sincerely, it's cool when these roads get like this, because then you know it's time to relax. Now, here is what we gotta do. We gotta go through the creek. So you ever hear that term, God willing and the creeks don't rise? We have the same situation at our farm, and all you gotta do is just wait. You know, if you have a gully washer, it'll get up where you can't get across. You gotta wait like 20 minutes and then it goes back down because of the hills here. Now, believe it or not, this is county maintained all the way. So how cool is that? I'm gonna stick this out of the, out the window here. But this is, this is county maintained. And it's still all county maintained, all the way down here. The reason I stuck the camera out the window is because it got bugs on the windshield. Look at this creek. I think this is the Sugar Creek. I think that's why we we call that this. It is just beautiful. We were talking the other day. This is the ultimate place for kids or grandkids. Is a creek running water. They love it. Find all kinds of interesting things, salamanders and little minnows and that sort of thing. And then the, uh, the property, Dan can tell you exactly where the property starts, <clears throat> but the county maintenance ends right here on the other side of this low water ford. So you got some pretty good water there. And it ends right there. So then this is private and the cabin's just right there. Let's go on up. You're gonna like this one, I'm telling you. It's 20 some acres, 200 year old cabin, 150 year old cabin. This stone wall, oh, this is my kind of place. Today, we're at Sugar Creek Farm. Gotta see this please to believe it, oh my gosh. It's spring, everything's blooming. Place looks great, place looks great anyway. This stream is breathtaking and it T-bones into another bigger stream. So I think that's the Sugar Creek down there and then this is a tributary. Look at this, 150, 200 year old log cabin. Dan can tell you, stone walls, oh, breathtaking. I know what you guys like. I know what you like. Look at this. Dutch door in the kitchen. This is here where you put a lawnmower and a generator. In case power ever goes out. You got high speed internet back here. So you've got phone. You know, like Skype or Magic Jack or any of that stuff. Look at this. Dang. Stock up on the wine. There you go. 
I'm gonna take you inside. First, I'm gonna take you down here to the park. If this isn't a park-like setting, I don't know what is. This barn, as you can see, is has seen better days. It's on its way down. You can either reclaim the wood, or you have some guys come in and jack it back up, throw some siding on it, use it. There's a beautiful spot out there for a garden. I'll, t I'll show you that later. Talk about a spot. Look at this location. I don't have a mirror right now, so I'll just wave in the shadow. Does that get old? My kids say it never gets old. That's because they're really young. Let me show you down here. There's daffodils everywhere. I don't know what this thing is, maybe a yucca or something like that. But look at these daffodils. Then you've got these guys coming up, whatever they are. There's some daffodils still blooming. It's been real warm here. Spring, always one of the prettiest seasons in Kentucky. And, uh, but it's been like in the 70s and 80s. So the daffodils came and they're gone already. It's not even Easter yet. Look at this. Ah! Can you imagine just sitting here, sipping on a little Kentucky bourbon? Maybe a cigar? Every once in a while, we'll get a really special property that speaks to you. And this is one of those properties. If you've been with us for very long, you know we specialize in unique properties. And this is unique. If it's antique, or if it's log, or if it's stone, or if it's got a lot of land, it's got a beautiful setting, if it's got water, this has got it all. You've got 20 plus acres, I believe it's 23 acres. Look in the text, I'll know for sure then. Dan just got this home listed, oh, handmade. The whole thing's built by hand. And there's a beautiful garden up there. There's paths all the way through the woods. A little fire ring here. It's our kind of place. And if you know Cindy and I very well, you know we live like, like this. This is our lifestyle. And uh, just couldn't be better. Relaxing, talk about lowering your blood pressure. Can you imagine sitting by this river? And it's called the Sugar Creek. And it's just spectacular. You want some more rocks? No problem. You got all the projects you ever want here. So now we're on this deck, really big deck. I'm going to guess 20 by 20. Needs a chiminea. I'm just saying. Look at this. Can you hear the creek? Oh, so you got the two creeks, Sugar Creek, and we're going to go inside. So you can walk up. What's cool about this deck is it's got these steps, and you got to watch yourself. Depends on how much wine you drink. Like I drink a lot of wine, so I got to really watch myself. You can, you can go steps right off of this. Look at this. On all sides. I love that. I wouldn't have wanted to calculate all those stairs and all that stuff. Anyway, let's go on inside. All right, let's go on inside. Wow. So the first thing we see is this room here. And, but it's actually the, the mechanicals are right here. I'm going to leave the door ajar a little bit. Let some light in. It is a cabin, it's 1840 cabin, so it's dark, cozy, which I love. And the door appears to me to be cherry. I think both doors are cherry. Verify that with Dan or the, uh, the seller. But is this the best? Two fireplaces down here. This one's for show, and then this one's for the real deal because we've got we got a wood stove down there. Dutch door. Now there's these pegs that go right through, a mortise and tenon, and then they're pegged. I don't know why I'm whispering. Why am I whispering? It's a beautiful place. It's like a museum in here. I guess that's why I'm whispering. But you're really far. You're like maybe two and a half miles off of the highway. And you saw the road. It gets narrower and narrower and narrower. It's lovely. So you're out here. It's just it's solitude. It's peace. It's being a human being, not human doing. We all run around, run around, run around. It's got this cutest little window you've ever seen there. Look at this view outside. 
So you're at the kitchen sink. And look what you see. There's the creek. That's the air conditioner too. But there's the creek. This is all yours. There's that shed. Wood stove for heat, in case the heat goes out. You got power, you got a generator. But you never know. The power goes out once in a while. I've got a generator in my house. You can just plug it in, pull the cord, boom, you're done. Now these logs are from 1840 and they were reset here in 1987 and at that time it was chinked. This is the real concrete chink just like the authentic stuff or as authentic as the original stuff I should guess I should say. Let's come on upstairs. Here again you walk up the stairs there's that garden just the best. bird's nest there. How cute. Now this is very cool. I believe these boards to be poplar and that's a very common wood here so that's what leads me to believe that they're poplar and this wide. Not many trees grow that wide. If you want to see how big they are. I mean, all right, so there's a grown man's hand. You're looking at pretty pretty big boards. When you come up, there's this sitting room or bedroom, and another bedroom here, which is big, real big. And then two big closets, and there's those boards again. Just love that. Exposed beams. This is done well. I see a lot of cabin resets and they're not done this well. Here's the bath. A lot of the switches here are on dimmer. Dimmer switches which I love. This is all wood. Handmade, hand carved. Look at that. You gotta love that. And the floors are poplar. Again, very common, very popular here. <clears throat> the people have had years and years, 20 some years of dogs, and that scratches the finish. It's a natural finish. It'd be very easy when the house is empty. Just go in and whack it. You, you don't, I don't think you need to sand. It's totally up to you. But I would say you just put on a finish. You can use that waterborne polyurethane, which is better, more natural dries in two hours. You can put five coats on in one day. That's what we do at our place. And it'll last forever and ever. The diamond finish, fair thing. You can use any kind you want. But that's that would be a wonderful solution. Or just leave them rustic like this. Then you've got these old style, like French style deals here. And they say right on them, hot and cold. And then same thing here. Like a French telephone style. So this is Sugar Creek Farm. Come see this lovely, special place. The special people who live here. Uh, it's a special property. It's a special home. And it would be right for the special person. Perfect artistry street. Uh, occasionally used home. You're, what, 30 minutes to Lexington. I mean, you really couldn't get a better location. You're not too far from Danville. Very close to Lancaster. Lancaster is growing. We're real good friends with the uh, the head of the Economic Development Partnership here in Garrett County, and he is making sure that Garrett County is growing with industry and jobs, which is fantastic for any area. And then, of course, it's just a short jaunt over to Danville. I would say it would about take you the same amount of time to get either either place. And of course, Danville's a world-class city. It's got everything: Performing Arts Center. It's got all the shopping. Sushi restaurants, you know, that sort of thing. And then here in the bedroom, just listen to the creek. And 
going out the Dutch door. I really couldn't come here and photograph this place without coming out this Dutch door. I don't think I've ever been out of a Dutch door before. Everybody loves Dutch doors. I don't think I've ever walked out of one before. I love that. Here, I can see my wife or my gram hanging out there saying, Brad, apple pie's ready. This is the dogwood here. Wait to see that rascal in a couple weeks. I'm going to come back and reshoot some of the exteriors. Thanks again for watching. I know I already said that, but I'm just so happy to be able to share this property with you. Always try to give you what you want, and this seems to be what our, our clients want. Happy spring.